If you've never had Manchurian Gobi, just you wait. That's a mango chicken, lamb vindaloo, an insane veggie biryani. Just wait till I show you this. Tarka dal, butter naan. This is what it looked like on the table. And a little bit of kingfisher to wash it all down. Let's get started with that Manchurian gobi, which is cauliflower in a slightly sweet, slightly spicy sauce. It's a Chinese recipe. I've never had it before. It absolutely blew my doors off. I can't wait to go back and try that again. It has the consistency of potatoes, actually. Um, you're going to love it. I promise you, go to RBG on Wellington Street in Verdun. <laughs> if anything, just to give that a try. It's amazing. Um, I stole some mango chicken from my lunch companion, who happened to be my youngest son on this day. Thankfully, um, he was good. He he was kind about it, but he wouldn't let me have any more. So <laughs> a, li a limited taste. Um, lamb vindaloo is one of my favorite Indian dishes, and the owner of the restaurant was kind enough to come over and warn me that vindaloo means really, really, really spicy. Of course, I already knew. And I was thrilled. The lamb was so succulent, it could have fallen. I could have cut it in half with the fork. It was so beautifully done. Look at the veggie biryani. You put a little bit of yogurt sauce on top, and it cools all those spices down just a little bit. It's the perfect balance when you have something as spicy as lamb vindaloo. Now, I'm a, a nan nut, so I love that butter nan. You can get a garlic nan if you want. But I think, you know, it fights with the other spices. So I always go with the butter naan and dip it into my tarka dal. I always, if I can get a kingfisher, I'm thrilled. And they have it. Uh, this is what it looks like inside. The owner, uh, Ajit Singh, uh, who's, who's better known as Tony in Verdun, is loved by everybody in Verdun from what I've heard. And I think I know why. <laughs> RBG. In Verdun, 